Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning, or wherever you may be from. Hello, it's me, Dexterous Jack, your friendly neighborhood streamer. I am looking forward to getting back into Kuro. Um, it's been a few days. Last time I streamed was on Thursday, so it's been the. Uh, pardon me. It's been three days. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to getting back into it um, as the story is kicking off in chapter five. Good evening, you fell. How are you doing, my friend? I hope you've been well. Sorry I didn't stream on the weekend. I was quite busy um, and it'll be the same this weekend. I'll only be streaming Tuesday and Thursday this week. Mm. As this weekend, I'll be seeing my brother um, for the whole weekend. So that'll be very nice. So I won't be able to stream. So I'm looking forward to making some good dents in on um, the story, really. Um, it's going to be... I don't know. I'm... <laughs> Will I finish it? I don't know. Probably not, because I think I, I, I think while we're while we're like making good progress, um, I still feel like there's more bosses to come. Um, we will see. We will see indeed. But as you can see, I partnered up with the uh, little bracer girl. We got... We got Zid and Fee with us, absolute legends, um, and uh, of course we have um, Elaine with us too. But she is uh, she's on the bench. Uh, there she is. I wanted to battle with Fee and Zid. Feels bad. Thank you. I will have fun. I'm very much looking forward to it. It's been a while um, since I've seen my brother actually. Probably around like five or six months. Um, but yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. I've had a nice day at work, finished as well. Although, like, I got a meeting invite for two weeks from now in December. And uh, the wording the wording of the meeting didn't fill me with too much, like, joy. But I think it's just, a, like, the meeting was just, like, to go over my workload, basically. And I was like, at first I was like, oh my god, is this going to be like a talk about my performance or something <laughs> but i've been doing well um i just have to be confident and then i'm pretty sure i don't think it's bad though i don't think it's bad i i think in my in my mind i'm making it way worse than it is because i know i'm performing well and my manager is singing my praises at work a lot so I don't think it's anything bad, but I basically, I basically think they're just going to give me more work, uh, which I mean is a good thing in a way because it means I can ask for more money when it comes to it. But like when I saw that invite and it was like, oh, this means to discuss your workload, I was like, oh, really? They're going to give me more work. Hello, Milo. How are you doing? Uh, I don't really need to fight any of these guys, right? Let's see how much XP I get from this guy. You're in the office. Uh, I was just, uh, I was just saying to you, Fel Milo, that um, I got like a meeting put in for like two weeks from now, basically to discuss my workload. And my first thought was like, oh, it's really, neg it's like a really negative thing that they're gonna be like, oh, you're not doing enough. But then I was like, no, no, they're not gonna do that. So I think they're gonna give me more work, which I'm not really, you know, don't really want to have to do more work, but. Yeah, it was a bit spooky, but I'm gonna because the meetings with my manager and another person in our team. Um, but I am gonna, I have a one-to-one -one with my manager on the uh, on Friday anyway at the end of the week, and I'm gonna, I'm basically basically just gonna ask her. I'll be like, what is this meeting for? Because um, in my mind, my first thought was like, oh my god, they're gonna fire me. <laughs> but I don't know why they would do that. But then, uh, then I reasoned with my irrational brain and basically said. Uh, why would they just fire you? Also, why would they put in a meeting for that two weeks in advance? It just doesn't make sense. And I've had no warnings at all. So I'm just being a stupid little worry wart. Worry, worry wart, basically. Just typical Jack maidenless behavior, honestly. I'm just such a warrior. My brain is not very nice. Boat. Dodge them, though. But yeah, other than that, things are going well. How's uh, how's work going for you at the minute, Milo? And uh, how's uh, university for you as well, you fell? I hope, hope you're both doing good. Uh, 
It's just going, yeah. Work is kind of like that, isn't it, really? It just kind of goes, man. It does just kind of go. Who needs CP? Agnes, probably. Build up as much as possible, but... You're looking for internships? Had a few interviews, but no offers. Well, congratulations. I'm sure getting to the interview stage is, is, is a good first step, though. The fact that you've had a few interviews already is really good, so I hope it... I hope you succeed. I'm sure you will be perfectly fine. Um, if none of them have rejected you so far, you're doing good, basically. Like, if, they, if, they're, if you're just waiting for responses back, you're doing really well. I'm sure it'll be perfectly fine, though. You got a few rejections. Ah, uh, They don't know what they're missing, man. They don't, they don't know what they're missing. It always sucks, like... Oh, hello. Oh, he's back. Oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> hello? Hey, Ariok. How you doing, bro? Yeah, like, the, the worst part about, like, those kind of interviews is, yeah, rejection is, is the worst part. Because it feels really annoying, like, if you get that far and then they just... Yeah. When I, when I had a... Um, because when I was at university, we had a thing called a placement year, which I assume is the same thing as an internship. But we did like a year of our a year of my university degree was in a business, so I had to go out and find a job basically, and that wasn't very fun. While while the university was going on at the same time, so yeah, you will win the fight if you manage to lower his HP a set amount. Alternatively, you can flee. All right, why would I want to flee? Well, I want to take the Grendel and smack him. <laughs> I'm actually a bit offended there, um, QE. You, you protected Fee and not Van. What are you doing? Uh, let's see if we can get more. Tell you what, let's do a lapis code for us all here. Can I get Fee in this? No. I think getting these guys in is good. You're on your fifth co-op term. It's a little tiring at this point. Oh, no. Oh, he's going for Agnes now, fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, university's tough, man. Boom. Is this gonna hit? No target. Rip. Van needs some healing. Let's just heal. Nice. The zero. We can also maybe just. I kind of want to. I mean, we can just keep in. I don't think we're going to struggle defeating him, really. Murray just fucking knocked me over. Didn't do a lot of damage though. Okay, just do another Karak wave. Aaron though can double boost her. Bring it on. While Aaron is S crafting, I'm just checking me forward. He's just dipping out. All right, see you, bro. I'm so high level compared to these. I don't really need to fight them unless I needed, unless I wanted. Sorry, the uh, the Sepith, but I think for now I'm okay. I made a very nice uh, chicken curry for lunch because. I was basically on the fence, like, do I cook before I stream, or do I cook for lunchtime? And then I went with lunchtime, because that way I can maximize my stream time, you know? Maxima maximize my play time. So here I am. 
Marble brooch, cool. Yeah, look, I get like 100 XP. Like, there's not a lot of them here. All right. We've got a boss fight coming up, though. Which group is it this time? Hmm. Voice acting. Wait, please. Fairy? Oh, shit. Can you tell which groups? Okay. Oh, yeah, the Pokemon stuff's on. I always forget about that. So, what should we do? One of those sides is your group, right? Oh, shit. Uh, and in all the confusion, it seems like they haven't even noticed us yet. In that case, there's just one outcome we have to avoid. Three-way skirmish is better than letting the strongest one win the fight and then come after us. Right, getting surrounded by Jaegers of that class would be really troublesome. Well, in that case, what do we do? Simple. We offer aid to known to one of the sides. That way, we won't get targeted by both, and it'll be much easier to win. <laughs> Alright, well, who are we going with? I understand the theory, and if we were, were to choose just one... Hmm. But, Ferry... Are you certain? We may end up facing your own core. She's so mature, man. Got it. If you insist. By the way, the Kirka Corps are all very opposed to how our matter has involved innocent civilians. I don't know where the request came from, but I would assume their policy against our matter is to completely eradicate them. No questions asked. On the other hand, Eisenshield is a group that is already known to take requests to maintain public order in cities. So although we do not know where the request came from, we should be able to assume that their policy towards our matter is to disarm the threat they pose and restrain them. So Kurga wants to destroy them and Eisenshield wants to capture them. Now then, which side do I align with? Oh wow, okay, another choice. So Eisen Shield is like the law option, whereas Kurga is like the chaos. Capturing them won't do any good. Oh, you felt you caught the ink, K, okay, let's go. Hmm. God damn, this hot chocky is fucking good. Hot chocolate on a cold night. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put this blanket on my lap as well. Ooh. Nice. So now we're super snug. Super duper snug. I'll put my phone on the desk as well. Uh, I want to side with the Kurja, honestly. I know F Fairy is, you know, said to be honest, but yeah. All right, here we go. あれを中東の裏解決やか。アークライド解決事務所だ。クレガ戦士だ。加勢するぞ。アブ、共に戦います。ああ。なるほどな。この場限りの共闘ということか。ああ、ぜひは共かく。片方には降りてもらおうか。
Well, we could just double our scrap. <laughs> this will probably kill most of them. Should kill most of them. If not all of them. Oh no, it won't. Alright. Well, we have a crit now. Oh, this isn't gonna hit all of them. That's a shame. We can do this lot. The van could S-craft again. <laughs> we spam him. Uh, I kind of want to take out... Let's take out these three. Alright, we'll skip it. This is the third time we've seen it this fight. Alright, now we can really look to go to town on this guy. I don't really want to have to waste any... Um, like, heals. I want to just build up as much CP as we can as well. Oh wow, fucking... He just hit him hard. And we sealed him as well, that's what we like. Bonk. And the stun. Keep the combo going. Oh my god, we got two more S boosts as well. Uh, how soon? Uh, no, she can't go right away, but... We're getting some good stuff going on. Combos, even. Ooh. Now up to Aaron. Zin with the follow up. We're just kind of smacking him. Sorry, my friend. You're going to get cataract waved for the finisher. There we go. Ooh, big XP. Pretty much everyone leveled up. あら、ビラントレン隊長。その Access key, thank you. Moving on. Ah, oh, okay. Alright. These guys are leaving now. And we continue on. Bandoro. Is, is he going to give us his, uh, his thing now as well? Oh, yeah, and I'm not sure about you, but... Oh, yeah, I'm not sure about you, but... We've already satisfied the conditions for this layer. I guess we can fight you if you want to, though. That's <laughs> <laughs> あ。ペリーだ。見ていたぞ。立派な戦いぶりであった。バンドの元へ送ったこと。間違いではなかったようだな。I'm <笑> so happy for you, Ferry. We got through this and you didn't have to fight your father. <laughs> well, I think they've both long since accepted that possibility either way. But hey, brats should get to act like brats sometimes. Now then, let us discuss the spoils of war. I received only this one access key. Still, is it acceptable for us to keep hold of it? Yeah, as I said before, we've already satisfied the conditions. We just decided to help you out uh, a bit with this battle. Even so, I cannot allow you to leave without at least some kind of send-off. Oh, okay. Red medallion. Lastly, my team needs to rest. We will allow you to proceed ahead of us. Does that sound agreeable? Sure, I appreciate it. 
Well then, we will be going on ahead. Ferida. Huh? ともに戦うことになったが、この先また遭遇したとき、今度こそ敵同士となるだろう。その時は遠慮せず全力をぶつけてこい。うら。でかちすかで、チームとゲットオールオブザドライバーズ。Was it Arts Drivers or, or the... Or the Hollow Cores, even? Yeah, that was the last Hollow Core, I think. Alright. Oh yeah, and I was gonna check that. We got like an item, it was like Red Medallion, right? Let's have a look. Green Med... Uh, was it Red? Platinum Watch. Gold amulet, cobalt cape. We got a lot of stuff. All right, move on. Uh, hello, gamers. Nice. Go on, Aaron. Absolutely shredded. And cute, you finished him off. Good. What time are you, um, what time do you finish, Milo, today? If you're still listening, I know you're at work. Are you on a... Well, wait, it's not even seven, so I'm guessing you're on a day shift, right? Alright, what we will do is, though... Wow, they only got five XP there. Alright, moving on. At least we got the level up. Cast three, okay. Oh wow, you don't have a cast three yet. Maybe I can change action one here. Okay. Wait, does anyone else have a cast three? No, okay. <laughs> Gotta grab all the chests. <laughs> all the chests possible. Nice. Alright, moving on. This looks kind of ominous. Alright. There we go. There we go. It looks like this is where we insert the access keys. I need to move my mouse, I keep hitting it. So this should lead to the middle section of the upper stratum. We managed to get enough keys somehow. Now it's, now it's time to face off against one of Almata's overseers. Oh, is it going to be uh, Viola first? Before that, let me confirm something already. What do you need to confirm? Your resolve. Huh? What's this all of a sudden? No, not your resolve towards whether you're willing to bet your lives or protect to protect each other, but the opposite. What do you... The person we are about to face is partly responsible for destroying Crail Village and is currently helping hold 280,000 people hostage. There's a good chance we won't be able to wrap this up neatly just by winning the fight and restraining her. Mm-hmm. You mean? If it comes to it, I won't let you be the ones to do it. However, as long as you're there with me, you won't escape from being an accomplice. So I'll ask you again. 
Do you have the resolve to go on, knowing that? Van. Well, we usually try to avoid killing if at all possible, but... But if civilians' lives are at risk, that can always change. Hmm. How are his uh, adopted children gonna, gonna view this? The gravity of such guilt, it's probably more than you can even imagine. Some of you may wish to wait here and... <laughs> Yo, a Weedle? I fucking love Weedles. I can't wait for the moment uh, Zubat appears, because they're my favourite Pokemon, so... Um, I will want to... Back we go. Okay. So they're resolved. Okay. If you sure, if you're sure, guys. Yeah. Alright. SC <笑>あ、反応兵器を悪用されないためにもね。Yes。これ以上。遺産の悪用で悲しむ人たちを増やさないためにも。そのためなら背負ってみせます。ああ。私も。ファンさんたちと一緒に。ああ、the <laughs> Yeah, sorry for the wait. This is fine, and we intend to support as much as we can too. Good on you, Zin. Alright. Let's fucking go, everybody. It is Viola. I wonder if Alexander's gonna be here too. Looks like there's no turning back. Hmm. So you showed up, you sadistic bitch. Nothing next to you. Oh yeah. This is the detonator for the gunpowder bomb that Melchior set. This should be more than enough to send at least a few thousand people to meet the goddess. If it goes off, I wanted to use that other toy, but, you know. Did you just call it a toy? The fact that you talk about it so lightly proves it's not something you're qualified to handle. It's just a toy to me anyway. Like how this is just a game. And all this is just playing with 280,000 people's lives at stake. Why? How can you live with yourself? The people of Krail, the people of Orassian, the people everywhere. No, not to mention us, and even yourselves. Each and every one is their own unique person, with their own life to live. Their own person with their own life to live, hmm? Well then, let me ask you this question. Do you see the lives of all people as equal? Little girl. I can tell just based on your appearance that you were born in a comfortable, wealthy place. Have you ever imagined what it would be like to have such a fortunate, sheltered life shattered in an instant? I certainly could not, until that day came. I was just a happy girl living in the small country in the Middle East, born to nobility. However, thanks to the resource relocations and money schemes that plagued the entire region, my country and my family fell. After that, my life became a horror movie. Even though we had fallen and been sold off to criminal organizations, I hadn't even hit the bottom yet. Can you even imagine a life without being tra a life of being trampled underneath and defiled by countless men? Uh, 
shit. You trying to brag about your own misfortunes now? Maybe I am. Come on, you all heard about it. Just a year ago, yeah? Oh, wait, is Viola gonna be... Is she gonna have been part of the... Okay, never mind, wait. Come on, you all heard about it. Just a year ago, yeah? The Imperial Prince's wedding that shocked the world. His wife is another woman of Middle Eastern descent. <laughs> it's kind of laughable when you think about it. Or is she just comparing? Yeah, they're just comparing, okay. Really, she wasn't so different from me at one point, and now she's the princess of the Empire, and I was stuck scavenging for food in the garbage. I became convinced that such injustice pervades the entire world we live in. So you decided the best thing to do was to destroy the world itself, even though you'd involve so many others who did nothing wrong? Mm. あるとき気づかされたんだよ。うん。踏みにじってきた男どもを手玉に取って。泥水をすすりながら。あるい。あの人。ジェラード・ダンテスマン。and she fucking went a bit loopy a bit sunderay for him. Oh, he forced them to work for them. Fucking hell. Who is he then? Like, where did he come from? Hmm. I mean, she's not wrong. Your social standing doesn't matter. In that instance, yeah. So the true quality is the boss's fear that he gave to everyone. Sounds like you met the worst possible person while in the worst possible situation. Yes, and then your troubled, broken heart was twisted into something much worse. That's awful. もう目の前まで来てるんだ。うん。ボス気づく。新しい世界と真の恐怖があんたたちはせいぜい。踏み台になってつぶれちまいな。お。オッケー。その反応まさかもしかして。いや。人の近い席で。マフィアたちがやってる。ああ、マイガッ。だがこいつは。This まさか過去にクロスベルで使われたものを。もはや原料も存在しないはずだが、なおさら捨て置けまい。こっちも引けない。いや。かな。さあ。オラシオンが炎と瓦礫に沈むまで、あとわずかだ。私とボス。いや、
Alright. Alright, we'll let you play now. Get him, Zim! Alright. Okay. First of all, let's Gibral Shield us. Oh, I'm sorry, Fee. Fee's the one who I can't get. I'm sure she'll be fine. And then with you, we can also let's buff everyone up. I probably should have got a bad time to do it with a chain here, maybe. Vandalize Fredo! Well, she's almost done now, at least. Well, she's good for a big group of us. Oh, no. Oh, whoa. Whoa, that looks cool. I've not seen this spell before. Bonk. All right. Jabberwock arm. And she gets two goes in a row. Her speed is mega buff. And this is her S-Craft, I guess. Let's have a look. Oh my god, that's cool. Alright. That's our turn. I have a veil, so I can just cure all of us. That's what we want. Uh, Alright. Zin is next. Oh, I wish, wish Zin had S crafted there. That would have been nice. Alright, anyway. Let's just recover everyone's HP and CP a little bit. Aaron, are you ready, good sir? Oh, I've got him to 99, are you kidding me? You missed. Boom. Nice. We're building up the combos. I would not. There we go. Nice damage. So. Alright, well, we can. Let's. There we go! Give him a kick! Alright. We're getting fired up now. Oh, and she got sealed as well. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, well, she's going to go next. How much HP she got? 8k. Uh, I don't know if there's a way I'd be able to kill her this turn, but... I don't know if this will do 8,000, but we'll see. Oh, close, though. All right. She'll die next round, anyway. Fee's going to finish her off this time. Finish her off with the s crap, baby. Oh, this new S craft of fees is so sick, man. <laughs> Boom. Good way to finish it off. Absolutely schooled. 6,606 XP for everybody. We're scrapping. Oh my god, the boob wiggle. <laughs> I don't think she's going to come quietly. Oh wow. Deal the finishing blow. Take the shot avoiding your own vital areas. What the fuck? Oh my god, what? Uh, do I want to kill? Like, do I want to. Like, does. I, I wonder if finishing. <laughs> the fuck, man? Finishing blow is incredibly ambiguous. But I don't really think she deserves to. 
Mm. No, these guys are awful. Mm. <laughs> I don't think I will. If I wanted to go Chaos, I shouldn't have taken the Bracer Guild, so. I'm gonna take the hit. She didn't think he was gonna dodge. Or she thought he wasn't gonna. She, she didn't think he would take the hit. Mm. Like, I know we just discussed that, like, are they ready to kill, but. Like, in... Yeah. Like, that's what I thought. そこまでの戸川を人思いにチャラにしてやるのは裏解決屋の流儀には反するんだな。I'm <笑> I, I believe out of all of the people so far, at least, like, obviously, maybe Alexander, I don't really know. We don't really know many of their backstories, but, like, the people who are a part of the garden, like Melchior and stuff, I think we can just write them off. But I reckon people like Viola, they still might have a chance of fixing themselves. Kind of similar to, like, Scarlet back in Cold Steel. So... We'll see what Alexandra's like, but I think Viola, I don't think Viola. Yeah. I think she might have a chance. She might have a chance to get better. <笑><笑>なんさ。But I could be completely wrong and she could just be psycho. I'm not naive. I, I, I could kill you, but. Alright, maybe this playthrough will go through sparing people. <laughs> Okay, these two, they're so Ferry, Ferry and Aaron wanted revenge. All right, that's good to know. Okay, I'll take that into account. I guess it's different fa- Oh no, but they've had stakes in it. Ferry lost Ida, Aaron lost all of his crew. It's tough, it's really tough. Like to make those decisions. まさかまさかの結末だね。上層担当者ビオラを破ったのはチームアークライド解決事務所。いや。タイムリミットまで10分以上残して無事に第一フェーズをクリアだ。いや、きっと君たちだと思ってたよ。さすが僕らを何度もチャラしただけはあるな。忙しくて見てもいなかったよ。彼女にとっては<笑> 
ってどこまで怒るだけ無駄だよ人として壊れてるんだから<笑>クリアしたんだからもっと嬉しそうにすればいいのにうん記念すべき初回だからご褒美だって用意してるのにさごご褒美 What's this reward, Melchior? Any question? Any <laughs> Hmm. I don't believe that. that or, or I will believe that. There's also some people here who we've been able to rely on quite a bit in the past. <laughs> right. Okay, so that's the first day done. Alright. Alright. And so the first chaotic day of the game came to a close. Van's team split off from their collaborators and went back to the surface. And it was left with Van to decide what to do with Viola. Even though she's incapacitated, she is still an Almata leader. We need to keep her restrained until the end of the game. But we can't really do that ourselves. We should contact someone else to do it. Hand her over to the guild or hey you eh? So, if I'm thinking about this logically... So I have the guild with me, right? The guild are in the game. I've already knocked Heiyue out, right? So, logically, I've, I've got Zin, Fi, and, um, Zin, Fi, and, uh, Elaine with me, and they're, like, the three best bracers in, uh, in Calvert right now. I would not trust the guild with her. But, handing over to Heiyue leaves a sore spot, because if she's with the guild, and she doesn't do anything, or doesn't try and escape, the guild won't harm her. I know that. But with Yin, with Risha and uh, Sao, I don't know. I don't know. I reckon if I hand her over to Heiwei, she'll die. But if she tries to do anything funny, Heiwei are more equipped to stop her. We'll go Heiwei. Oh my god. Oh wait, Vance is I, I'm on it! We're the same, bro! Yeah, I do, but I also know you're short-staffed right now. Plus, we can't exactly explain everything to the local cops, so I think it'd be best they'd be- I think they'd be able to handle things best. Well, I suppose that's fair. <laughs> I have a hard time agreeing, but... Well, considering everything the girl's already dealing with up top, I guess we can let them handle it. One condition, though. When everything's said and done, I want you to arrange for them to give her over to the Capitol Police. Deal. Sure thing, that's fair. Oh, okay. I wonder how much these, uh, like, this is obviously a rhetorical question, but like, I wonder how much these choices will affect the ending. I'm curious to see how many endings there are or whatever. Afterwards, Van turned Viola over to Heiyue. All right. Perhaps because of everything that happened that day, the rest of the team passed out right uh, away after going back to the inn. I do kind of want to align. I do kind of want to align with the guild more, so maybe I made a, the wrong choice. But I think, like, if I was in Van's shoes, I would have given her to Heiyue. So yeah. All right, something going on here. The briefcase. There is something else going on here. Let's 
I love how it says woman, but we like it's it's we know it's one hundred percent Elaine. <laughs> uh, I've always found that funny with trails. They're always like woman in in bracer outfit is the title when they're like trying to hide who it is, but it's like, but it's so obvious who it is. <laughs> why why are you trying to hide it? Oh. Oh, is 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 this uh like Hercules or Hermes, whichever group they are? Hercules. Arrived at point D. As planned, we should be able to infiltrate the area under a Rassian from here. Right. We don't know what's going on in the city, so let's spread throughout the area. Roger that. On the name of the beta squad. Alright. Oh. oh! What's this sensation? I can't move. Yo! Did they get artifacted? Who is it? That armor. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Ariel. I do like Ariel Xaba a lot. Bro, Hercules do not stand a chance. Did he just straight up kill them all? Yikes! Oh fuck. It woke Van up. And Cutie. D did you feel that just now? Yeah, felt the same when that exterminator guy showed up. Rene, what's the matter? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. i and the rule said if there are any forces entered from outside after yesterday. I understand, but of course within the CID those rules were kept secret under a gag order. However, as I've said before, currently the CID chain of command is not uniform. It seems that certain factions became concerned about the situation in Arassian and moved of their own volition. Bro, they're fucking stupid! I know they didn't know about the rules, but what the fuck are they doing? What absolute fools, though I do understand why. Yeah, if it's all true, it might not count as a rule violation, but still. Please get him to stand down right away. We can't be certain what call our matter will make. We've been trying to contact them. We'll keep trying. But you guys should also... Oh dear. Our matter.僕は so I'm wondering if whether someone higher up gave the order for them to infiltrate to force this to happen. And I feel like the only other person that could is Gramhart. So like, gr like whoever it was made Beta Squad, the Hercules Beta Squad go in knowing this rule. No way. The reactor weapon? <laughs> Just kidding! It seems that the higher-ups who didn't know the full story sent them on his own. Oh, okay. If we ended everything in a bound for just that, it would be a bit disappointing for us as well, since we prepared so much for you. Fortunately, our surveillance system also has the ability to judge when the violator should merely receive a penalty. And all of the violators have been eliminated, so we'll let it slide this time. Yeah, they were just straight up killed then. Fuck's sake, man. We're already too late then. What fools. Now, since I had to get up early in the morning for this annoyance, we will postpone the start of the game to noon. So enjoy yourselves today. I'm looking forward to enjoying every minute of you killing each other. Bro, bro. Oh my God, it's just like, it, it, I feel like I'm just on tenterhooks like with what's gonna happen. 
So it looks like the second phase of the game has been moved to start at noon. That should give us a chance to poke around a bit in the north and east sides of the city to see what the status is. What do you all think? Of course, we can take care of any forced brigand requests that may have come in. Okay. I was hoping to get a bit more sleep, but we got bombarded with the news like that right at dawn. Yeah, but honestly getting out a bit will be good to warm up for this afternoon. You're pretty lively, aren't you? Well, I can't say I don't understand. I mean, the old man is one thing, but we also have a middle-aged guy with us. You sure you're alright? <laughs> I am only 24. Ha! Well, now that we've finished our breakfast, shall we head out? Yes, let's make our way to the main sites in the east and north districts, and of course check the bulletin boards for four spriggans. Bro, we're getting fucking buzzed, aren't we? Zatu, come hither, my friend. Oops, I accidentally put an exclamation mark at the end of it. Pokey. Catch. Boom. There we go. Alright, what's up, guys? You have some time. We have something to discuss. Is it about Hercules? If so... No, not that. We heard this situation from the CID already. It sounds like they already recovered the bodies. It's disappointing we couldn't do anything. But it's actually something else. We wanted to ask us some advice. If you have time, stop by the guild. We'd really appreciate it. Got it. We're a team after all. Thanks. See you later then. Oh, it's fucking... <laughs> Elaine, 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 Elaine isn't there. I wonder what Fee and Zin want. She kind of had a serious look on her face. It almost looked like they had something to discuss with you personally, Van. Yeah, after we explore the east and north, let's pop by. And don't forget, we have to get absolutely we have to get absolutely prepared for the second phase. No, Zatu! Understood. Let us go let's get going to handle all of our business then. Uh, this is kind of annoying. I wish there wasn't, like, four Spriggans at this point. I wish it was just, like, carrying on with with the ending. It, it's kind of, it kind of feels like a break. A break that I don't feel like should be here, but alas. <laughs> Let's eat some food, actually. That's a good idea. What have I not eaten? Yes. <sighs> That's everything for now, alright. Around this corner. Police chilling. Maybe I can open someone's orbman actually. Yoshi. Yeah, Yoshi. Um Alright. Agnes is next. What could I add here? Nothing really beneficial. I guess like water could be cool, but... Uh, we could just stick cast one in. More cast, always good. Normal. And then that should give me my achievement for opening all of uh, Agnes's orbits. There we go. Alrighty. Hopefully, those for Spriggans are just like monsters. I just received a threatening letter and I don't know what to do about it. Alright. So it's someone kind of close, alright. Well, let's pick up, if there's another one, let's go pick it up. Uh, oh, there's a lot more shops around here. Oh, very nice market. Oh, I have like no mirror. 
Oh god, yeah. Hello, braces. Hmm. Shame we're only finding out about them now. Would have been cool if they brought it up a little bit earlier, but... Probably added into the story for that reason alone. Alright. Brilliant Stone Masanga. Can be sent to Aaron, wow. Right? Level 4. Agility plus 5, we like that. Yes, can go to Cutie. Oh, God, achievement. Guess that's send 20 gifts. Uh, yeah, okay. And then there's something over here. Oh. Oh. I guess this orphanage. Maybe where Van grew up? Question mark? This is an orphanage? I see. Van? Yeah, this is the Arasian orphanage. Well, if there's nothing we need to do here, let's head somewhere else. Wait, those kids are still... Oh, come on, they'll catch up. Let's go on ahead. Oh! Whoa there. That was close. Come on now, gotta watch your step, kid. Uh, really? That's why I keep telling you not to run ahead. Ugh. Thanks for all the help, mister. Mister, huh? You really saved me. Thanks so much, old man. <laughs> Hey, hey, old man, you want to play? No, I don't have time to play with kids. Oh, come on, you look like you have loads of time. <laughs> the heck's that supposed to mean? So those children belong to the orphanage. <laughs> well, I'm just glad no one got hurt. Reminds me of my little brothers. Makes me feel relaxed. You're a funny old man. Want to play? Wait, where'd you all you, where did all of you even come from? <laughs> they seem to be quite taken with Master Van. You're actually surprisingly good with kids, huh? <laughs> yeah, you seem really popular, old man. You shut up. We're not letting you escape, old man. Yeah! Oh, come on now, children. Don't cause trouble for the people passing by. Oh, a guest. Van? Are you Van? Huh? You mean... Long time no see, Miss Flona. Oh, I can't remember her name now, but it reminds me of the the matron from Sky who ran the orphanage as well. That vibe, very motherly. I can't believe that naughty little Van finally grew up so much. I'm starting to get emotional. So you spent time here when you were a child, Van? It's kind of this is kind of like a homecoming then. I did think you had a weirdly sentimental look on your face. I did not. So, wait, you were here until you became an adult then, Van? Oh no, he was taken well before that and left Arassian. I believe that was, why, 14 years ago. I was still just a helper here then and Director Arkwright was running the orphanage. Oh. Okay. So was this like, Van grew up in the orphanage but his parents run it. Director Arkwright? So I take it that is the person from whom Master Van has received his surname. Oh, okay. No, he was adopted. All right. Yeah, basically, it was too much of a pain to come up with a last name on my own. What? I guess he... I've never heard the story of his family before he was taken in, but... Back then, the Van was really close to everyone. He got along really well with the rest of the kids at the orphanage. And that doesn't seem to have changed too, huh? Seeing how many good friends you have today. Thank you all for supporting him. <laughs> oh, no, he actually supports all of us much more. I'm not exactly his friend as such, but no problems, I guess. 
By the way, everyone, have you had lunch yet? If not, I can prepare it. No, we actually... I'm sorry, but we have some business to get to. We've got to head out pretty soon. Oh, that's too bad, but I understand. Aww. Before we go, it seems like you aren't having any big problems operating the orphanage, then. <laughs> Nothing major at all. The cathedral's close by, so the church sends plenty of help, too. And outside uh, of the church support, once a year we get an anonymous contribution through the bank. Oh, wow. From some kind of charity? They haven't contacted us even once, so I have no idea. No, once there was a note attached that said, From Spriggan. Uh, that means... Wow, there are some strange people out there, huh? <laughs> He's shameless. I don't really think he needs to hide it. This is just Master Van's style. Oh man, you're leaving already? I wanted to play with you some more though. Well, we adults have a lot going on. Make sure you play a bunch while your kids, okay? You'll regret it if you don't. We will, and you should too. Will, will you come back? Yeah, eventually. Alright then, Director. We have to head out here. We'll be in the town for a while, so we'll stop by again. Yeah, please be careful then. Oh, man. I'll go through my discussions when I'm out of this cutscene. Yeah, I think these guys are feeling the exact same way that I'm feeling right now. If things were to go wrong in the game, we just have to do what we can. Yeah. So, after that cutscene with the orphanage, I think I'm going to change my perspective on how to deal with our matter. I think I'll be a bit more ruthless. Because you, we can't let even the slightest chance of these like innocent children being harmed it happen again, you know? This threat needs to be extinguished. And I think that's changed my resolve a little bit. They're just so... Like, those kids are just so, like, free. Like, they, they, they're not... what They don't know about what's going on right now. They have no worries in the world. I can't let them... I can't let them... I can't let harm come to them, basically. Oh, there's a Marxist forum. We love that. I'm searching for someone, but can't write the details here. All right. No monster exterminations. All right, let's just, uh... Wait, bro, you literally just posted the request over here. <laughs> You're just chilling. Hello. Oh, okay. Oh, there's actually a shop down here, okay. It's upstairs, actually. This is just a hotel. was the shop down here we'll go down here exchange and antiques oh it's this guy hey frank miss missed a couple of things we will send those all now though so this is to ferry little cutie this is to you, Rosette. And this is for you, Judith. Alright, nice. We're a bit short on cash still, but <laughs> I can sell items if I need to. Let's do this one here first, but I am actually going to go pee before I kick off with this because I need to get to the toilet. So I will be right back, everybody. Toilet time is on right now. So yes, I won't be a minute.
All right, I'm back. Hello, everybody. Oh, wait, Scarbug. Oh, I missed it. That's a shame. I think Scarbug's a cool bug Pokemon, no? Oh, no, never mind. It's not the one I'm thinking of. <laughs> I bun that boy. But yes, toilet time can come off now. And we are back to streaming. Bomb. Back to Arc Ride time. Hello, Barton. Let's get your. Let's get these for Spriggans done. Are you Barton, the climb? Are you the Spriggan? Thank goodness. I didn't really know if you'd come. Your request is about finding someone, right? Who would that be? I. Give tours around Arasu. I want you to find two tourists who were on a tour that went missing. Missing tourists, huh? Wouldn't it be better to ask the guild or police? Normally it would, but. Seems like there's more. more to it, ain't there? If it wasn't, probably wouldn't be asking the shady ass Spriggan. Who are you calling shady? Uh, well, there's definitely more to it. Will you take me up on my request? Yeah, sure, bro. We got you covered. Let me think here. Yeah, of course we are. We need the money. <laughs> We're poor right now. If there's an additional circumstance, then asking us is the right move. Give us all the details. Thank you so much. As you may know, since yesterday, the symbol of Arasian, the Vashtar Palace ruins have been made off limits. Yeah, we heard about it. <laughs> True. The CID probably took care of things before the rules of the game were even announced, however. The Vashtar Palace ruins are the best part of the tour, so everyone was pretty disappointed. And after that, at last night's dinner, I carelessly gave away too much info. I told them, rumour has it, that there's a secret passageway to the palace. Which would have been okay, but I also told them how to enter those underground ruins. Oh, bro. I told them that it's a dangerous place, but... They paid you off and you called it and called it an accidental slip of the tongue, right? But, yeah. Damn, dude. Is it okay for a guy to do something like that? Your awareness about your job must be lacking. <laughs> Very! I mean, it's true, though. You're absolutely right. I drank last night, but that's not an excuse. Anyway, by the time I woke up, they weren't around anywhere. They definitely went in those ruins, I'm sure of it. That's not good. I know. I know it's too late, but I really regret it. I've also prepared your fee, which includes the mirror I got last night. So please, bring both of them back safely. Mia, yeah, don't worry about it. We'll bring them back. When I take on a request, I make sure to do it properly. Bro, what if they're already dead, though, man? What if they're already dead, though? Thank you so much. Now then, which entrance did you tell them about? You could possibly have told them about every possible one. Yeah, even I don't know where all of them are. I told them about two entrances. One near the market entrance in the northern district, and the one next to the department store in the eastern district. If it's only two places, then this seems doable. Yeah, but we've still got time on... T on a, we're still on a time limit here, sorry. If we can't make it on this, how we might have to leave it to the guild. Is that alright? Yeah, I'm counting on you. I'm still guiding other tourists around today, so I'll leave it to you guys. Please contact me if anything happens. Yeah, no problem, bro. All right. Of all places, it just had to be the underground ruins. We certainly cannot just let this pass by. Without an access key, they couldn't have gone too deep, at least. But it's dangerous, since there's monsters lurking near the entrance. There are two possible entrances. Let's search quickly. The one near the palace and the one near the market, right? Yep. And that one's close to the hotel. Let's start looking there first. All right. To the one down here, then. Wee. Neko. Wee. Orphanage. Woo. Street. Oh, Neko. Neko number two. Hello. Oh my god, wait. I was fucking spooked for a minute there. From behind, I thought that was, uh, I thought that was, um, um, I thought it was, uh, Elliot's sister, Fiona. <laughs> Wait, that area's off limits. Ah, a policeman. Tch, what a pain. Sorry, but we have a good reason to go in there. We're not anyone shady, so there's no need to doubt us. Bro, that's something someone shady would say, Van. You must be the Arkwright Solutions Office. Why do you know about us? Oh, hello. Uh, uh, an Ikaruga member? This must be your team's entrance. So the policeman outfit was nothing but a disguise. Indeed. 
You're better than the certain Phantom Thief, I bet. You guys are getting distracted. I, I mean, we gotta focus on the request. Anyways, since we know your identity and you know ours, can you let us through? This is Ikaruga's base. I can't let you through without a reason. Tell me what business you have. The truth is, there might be Taurus who got lost in the underground ruins here. We took on a request to look for them. Tourists? Was it perhaps a young couple? So you've seen them? They attempted to enter through here a short while ago, but I shooed them away with my disguise. Ah, oh, the police outfit. In that case, they had no choice but to scurry away. Seems like that takes care of business now. They've gone to the other entrance now. Whee! Just like that disguise from earlier, he's got such great poise. Well, at least not on the level of the Divine Blade, the strongest Jaeger core on that of that Divine Blade. The strongest Jaeger group of the East sure is something. But at any rate, searching for those tourists comes first. There's only one other place left. I think they went towards the entrance in the Eastern Quarter. Yeah, let's get going. All right. Yes. I don't think I've bought things from the shops and stuff in here. There's also a blue down there. So, well, let's get this one done. Here it is. By the way, we don't know which group this entrance belongs to, right? Ren might be able to look it up. We don't have time to ask her. We haven't seen any of the groups so far, so we can probably just enter. Yeah, not sure what's going to happen, but let's move. Don't be careless. Yeah, we don't want to fuck this and mess this up, bro. Get away from me! Get away! Screams. How awful. They're being attacked by a monster. Let's get going, fast. Oh, hello. No way, it's all over. Stand up. Who are you guys? Get behind us, we can talk after. Commence encounter attack. These guys are nothing. Sasenai! Monk. These monsters are a little weak source. Oh, this is kind of a short one. Okay, regular caliber. Uh, I feel like Agnes is just gonna kill them right now, but I'm kind of curious to see what regular caliber looks like because I've not seen it yet. Okay, didn't kill them. Did a lot of damage though. Can't move. Sword prayer. Here we go. Oh, nice. Woo! -hoo! Holy shit. I feel like I feel like that should have a bigger circle. Maybe maybe that's just me though. CP for all. Wow, 10 XP. So much. <laughs> Are you hurt? No, you really saved me. Wait, no, please, you've got to help me. There's some nothing else around though. Yeah, but it, the other Taurus isn't here. Yep. My girlfriend's further inside. Are you braces? Actually, that doesn't matter. I just need someone to save my girl, please. You didn't actually just abandon your girlfriend and run off, did you? I would never do something like that. That thing attacked me earlier and the entrance was blocked off. I was supposed to be a decoy so she could run away, run further inside. Oh, I thought you were just some bubbling idiot, but you got some backbone. In any case, you could back up and wait and leave the rest of us. Seriously? You can stay calm and allow us to deal with this. In that case, I leave her to you. Yeah, don't worry, we got you, bro. Alright. In we go. Oh, it's pretty simple. Alright. It's just... <laughs> it's literally just the carbon copy layout of the other one, but with just no monsters. Alright. Alright, Falcon, I see you cut corners. 
I jest though. Oh, hello. That. <laughs> they just finished taking out the monsters. Which means they're the team in responsible for this entrance. Be careful. They're Jaegers, and they're a group you don't normally see in Calvert. These men are. I see. They're not from Nidhogger, which means. Scorpion of the hat, okay. If you know that much, then you'll also you're also participating in the game. Yeah, we're the Arkwright Solutions office. You're the ones who beat that commander. We're already out of the game, but this is our base. What the hell do you want? Nothing from you guys. We have business with that girl over there though. That's the tourist we've been searching for. No, she can't be. No, she just seems to be unconscious. That woman over there, huh? She's just a civilian. Sorry, can you leave her to us? Civilian, just as we thought. But we can't just hand her over. Well, why can't you give her to us? She just saw our maskless. She saw our maskless faces. Is that an issue? It's forbidden for a civilian to see our faces, so this woman needs to be erased. Oh, fucking hell! You intend to silence her? You can't. You can't do something like that just because she saw your faces. You're also a Jaeger kid. You should already know how it goes. Different Jaeger Corps have different rules, no matter how many there are. Other corps can't interfere, that's the Jaeger way. And you call yourself a Jaeger despite not realising that? Alright, that's enough. Jaeger or not, she's a member of our office right now. So we're doing this our way. Van. We should. Smack him. How about a match? A match? We'll bet on that woman. If we win, you'll hand her over. And if we win, you'll leave. Of course, we won't say anything about what happened here, no matter what. Seems like we're getting the short end of the stick here, doesn't it? Just go along with it. And you guys bored anyway. After all, you lost the game at the very beginning and had to drop out. <laughs> you bastard. You making fun of us? Really now? They're just too easy. Mm, come on, Van. It's true that we lost, but that's only because it was the Marduk company. We're not going to be outdone by you guys. In that case, care to prove it? Fine. We'd be pissed off if we left it like this. We agree to your conditions. Thanks for that. Bring it on. See ya. Regular Scalibur, baby. <laughs> There is a Pokemon I will look to capture in a second, an unpheasant. Boo -boo. Boom! Big damage though. Bro, they're hating cutie right now. Big regular caliber though. Boom. Well, that does quite a lot of the chain though. Oh, wow, we're working like murder in them. Actually, catch a Pokemon for the first time today. No! I've had bad luck today, it seems. <clears throat> Boom. Boom. We're booming them all. 
Last one. No, no, no. Oh no, there's one more. Never mind, I thought you were dead. Sorry, friend. You'll be dead next. Oh, he's just guarded. Yeah, well. Oh, he's on one HP. I don't mind. Boom. 300 XP, baby. Guess what I was losing on the first day wasn't just a coincidence. Should have brought more people. Running into Marduk's first was definitely bad luck. Yeah, but they only had four people. You guys are also far away from your home base, so it must have been tough. We'll keep our promise. Take the girl. Gladly. Don't worry, we'll make it up and lie. Uh, we'll make up a lie to make sure those civilians had no idea what was going on. Very well. Yeah, we want to fucking... We don't want any problems. Sorry, just scrolling through a few messages again. She, the, the girl rode on Zeros. That's cute. Thank you so much for saving us. Well, it was those survival game players who found you down there. I think they got a pretty stern warning from the police too. I hope you learned nothing. Uh, learn from this. No entering dangerous places like that anymore. Yeah, of course. There's no saying if we'll get out next time. I'm glad everything worked out. Really, thank you guys so much. We need to thank you too, Mr. Guide. Calling the Bracer Guild just for us. But we're not bracers. Huh? We're the Outcrowd Solutions Office. Spriggans. We're not allies of justice like the Bracers, and only take requests based on the reward. Spriggans? So something like that actually exists? We won't forget. Looking forward to asking for your help one day. Hopefully you won't need to. <laughs> True. Six and a half grand, baby. Alright, so there's that one done. Uh, while I'm oh I'm not I'm not in the right spot but let's go back to the eastern district because we had a few bits so we've got two reds there uh, and um, the blue over there so we'll do the reds we haven't been to Quincy yet so so this is the famous Quincy department store Queen Sith I think I've heard that name they are distributors of the famous Quincy Bell Suites sold across the continent. This is one of the leading confectionery companies on the continent. This building is also the Quincy Company's headquarters. Oh, I've seen those all over! Yeah, everyone would have them with tea and basil. Oh boy, it's the headquarters of a confectionery company. You think his tension's shooting up? Absolutely. Well, the Quincy Bell Suites are great and all, but their fresh made sweets are what's ready to die for. One could certainly become addicted to high-class chocolates and sweets, but honestly, in the long term, the cost-performance ratio is too low. Well, I guess I see what you mean. They do make great gifts, though. Hmm? Okay. Hello. Uh, uh... Hmm. Who's that? He seems to be some kind of executive. Oh, it's Elaine's dad. Edmund Declare. He's the CEO of Quincy and the head of the well of a well-known family in Arasian. Wait. Or Claire is in. 
Okay, so that's Elaine's father. They have the same eyes, that's for fucking sure. Sajo, Igagashimasta. Kimoseko. Yeah, those two could have Okay. Bit of a turbulent meeting, even though they didn't really meet. Wait, so that's Elaine's Abbey. Oh, I guess they do have the same hair and eye colour. So she's the daughter of the upper class family that runs the Quincy Company? And that seems to be the case. I think I read about that in a magazine before, but... Yeah, it's not exactly a secret or anything. Though Elaine and her father aren't exactly super open about it either. I see. Oh, so if he's Elaine's father, then does that mean you know him too, Van? Eh, I met him once or twice, but I doubt he remembers me. Well, let's leave the case of that guy aside and check out the merch for a bit. There's actually always, there's always been a weapon store here, so we might find something useful. Hmm, let's just go and have a look then. Yeah, sounds good. Hello, maid. Irene. We would like to make the hamburger. And we can eat some food while we're here too. Thirty strength, holy moly, that is a lot. Let's go. Alright, we're almost level ten. Alright, so we've done the shop over there, we've got Quincy Bell here. There's a weapon store up here. Gaston. Oh, these are all straight buffs as well. Oh, I don't have enough money. Anything I don't really need that I have a lot of. Uh, Zeram capsules are always good. I should probably use some of these, shouldn't I, really? Yeah, why not? Let's just use some of them. Who needs more HP? Q2. Buff him up! Agnes! No, we'll leave that now. I don't want to overdo it. Alright, we'll come back here and get more weapons if we need them. You probably should, uh, close the curtain, milady. Defense up 40, speed and move. That's pretty good. Oh my god, these are expensive. 29 grand! That's crazy. Alright. Where's the blue? Outside. Yeah, it's down there. Alright. But there's also a red up here. We'll go back there. Baron? Alright, bro. Jesus, alright, dude. Thought that guy was called Banker Dropout then. So it's upstairs, okay. Hello, Sal, you bugger. Of course, there is no need for worry on that end. I've already prepared personnel. Then the rest will go as we discussed. I'll make sure to prepare suitable accommodations. <laughs> I look forward to our continued business dealings. <laughs> That's a completely different discussion. Who's on the phone, bro? 
Oh, well, if it isn't the Arkwright Solutions office. Good morning, everyone. Hopping into shady dealings as soon as you wake up, I see. What are you planning this time? That voice I heard from your call. It's Rene, isn't it? Oh, shit. Don't call me about that name when I'm working. No, don't even use it in private, actually. Bro, this guy's such a dickhead, man. Mr. Kincaid, from the CID. You guys said he's the president's aide right now. Well, uh, it's a curious sight to see such a high-ranking aide getting friendly with a high-ranking member of Heiyue. Yes, very true. Now, now, it's not quite so major as you make it sound. We're simply discussing cleaning up after this morning's incident. Uh, that squad from Hercules. We were mostly ensuring that the same sort of thing doesn't happen again. Naturally, I'll be taking my own measures for that, but I wanted to have some extra insurance in place. So you mean to say that you've already given orders to Heiyue's men? Yes, some of our own are now in wait around Arassian's perimeter. They were initially intended to act as reinforcements should we need them partway through the operation, but due to the rules they can no longer join in. It was pointless to begin with for us who have already been eliminated. <laughs> I almost want to say I'd bet you're planning to move in on Arassian once we've dealt with the situation. True. I suppose I cannot die deny the possibility. Not that I can confirm it would go particularly well. You're a real piece of work, Sal. <laughs> so true, Aaron. Van, I'm sure I don't have to tell you all of this, but people... But don't even think about trying to evacuate everyone. It would be far worse than your run-of-the-mill bad ideas. The risk would be far too high. Yeah, but I know that. <sighs> Van. So you two can keep your conspiracies at bay too, alright? I don't need two glasses wearing villains having a crossover episode. <laughs> It would seem Van is quite a bias against our type. What do you say, Mr. Kincaid? Don't try to pretend we're the same. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't, I like Zal more than you, and that's saying something. One thing I did want to do was go back to the... Is this the... I think this is the worst staying out, right? Uh, yes, it is. Alright, cool. So Nelly's the other one. Alright. We'll do Nelly's while we're here. But I would like to rest. There we go, because we needed EP for uh, dear old Agnes. All right, hello, Nelly. All right, Pancham. I, I don't really like Pancham, but we'll catch it anyway. I think I have some great balls, right? Oh, sorry, Poke Daily, that's my bad. Pokey catch great ball. There we go. I don't own it, no! We'll just go straight in with a poker catch then. Welcome! Ah, you're the guest who've been staying here since yesterday. Here to order some food? Not quite. Are you the one who submitted the full spriggan? Huh? You posted it, right? On the bulletin board? Oh, she did she not know? Yeah, she didn't know. <laughs> didn't think there would be a client right under our nose. Uh, um, I guess. Could you listen to what I have to say about the letter? Yeah, of course. A threatening letter. Oh, she's cute though. I like her outfit. So you got a blackmail letter, right? Can we take a look? Fucking hell. Sure, here you go. Hmm. Can't believe a filthy immigrant dares to stand on the stage at the opera house. I will be I will bestow divine punishment in place of the goddess on those who don't know their place. Alright, you racist prick. That's terrible. To borrow the name of the goddess for such a thing is one of the utmost forms of disrespect. Our culprit is, well, it's clear they're anti-immigration. Bro, I'm not catching any Pokemon today. <laughs> a lot of assholes out there. Heiyue has a lot of power over Langport, so there's not so much animosity amongst against immigrants on the surface there. However, Arassian is different. Since it's the old capital, there are still plenty of people who've inherited the aristocratic mindset of the old nobility from their forefathers. That's why there's such a strong sentiment against immigrants. Yes. 
However, there are also plenty of people kind there are plenty of kind people around here as well. Unfortunately, I've still been discriminated against countless times. If that's the case, then why are you living in this town? Because Arasian purports itself to be a flourishing traditional fine art city. I've admired the aspect of that for a very long time. After a lot of hard work, I was finally able to attend a music school here. So I can't just quit halfway. I can get the reasoning. You're going to a music school, so that's how the Opera House is related, huh? Is there some kind of event happening there soon? Yeah, the school is renting the Opera House to hold a recital. It's supposed to happen pretty soon, but I was chosen for the lead role. The lead role? That's a good thing. So then the point of the letter is to tell you to step down from the lead role in the concert. And to say they'll do it by force if you don't. It certainly comes off that way. The Opera House has prided itself as a Rassian symbol of traditional fine arts for over a hundred years. Having an immigrant stand on the stage, not to mention playing the lead role. Makes sense that it pissed people off about our anti-immigration. I'd even say that there's a real possibility they'd resort to using force. <laughs> no way. Um, wouldn't it be better to consult with the guild or police? I, 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 I also kind of hate how it's always brought up, like... Wouldn't it be better to go to the guild or police? Like, every side quest, wouldn't it be better to go to the build or police? Like, they've come to you for a reason. Like, you, you don't need to bring it up every time. If it turns into a big deal, they might cancel the concert altogether. My classmates have all been practicing diligently waiting for this day. I don't want everyone's efforts to go to waste. That reminds me of the film festival at the time. Sorry, at the time, I had no choice but to put in a request with this shady Spriggan. With that said, I had no choice but to resign. I have no choice. Why would you say that? After going through all those horrible things while studying here, isn't this the chance you've been waiting for? But I have no other options. I think it's better to be patient and wait for the next chance. If that's the case, then why'd you go through all that trouble to put in a request for us? That's... because I wanted to get your perspective on the letter. Now that I know the danger's real, I have no other choice but to... If the client says something like that, there's nothing we can do. But are you really okay with that? If you give in to the culprit's demands, it'll happen to you again and again. This will surely escalate bit by bit. To the point where you won't even be able to stay here anymore. I still haven't heard what you're requesting us to do. Now be honest, what do you really want to do? I... I want to participate in the concert with pride. Roger that. The Outcry Solutions Office will take you up on that request. But... Don't make a fuss about it. All we have to do is bust the culprit, right? Really? Is it really okay to go that far for me? That's what the Solutions Office is here for. Then it is decided. We must uncover the culprit. Lady Nelly, do you have any idea who it might be? Even if you put it that way. I know that doubting others can be hard, but we won't be able to move forward with our investigation otherwise. True. Is there anyone you can think of who'd do this? You know, someone who'd benefit from you dropping out? When you put it like that, there's one person that comes to mind. Her name's Amelie. She's my classmate at music school and she's like a rival to me. We were final, the final two candidates for the leading role. In other words, she'd got the role if you'd quit. That's sufficient grounds for a motive. What kind of person is she? Is she against immigration? She's a descendant of Arassian's old nobility. Oh, that's why. Sounds like you have reasons to respect, suspect her. Alright then, let's see what the family side of the story is. Alright, off to Quincy. Alright, up we go. Up one. Hello, Amelie. You must be Amelie. Can we have a word with you? And you guys are... We're reporters covering the concert happening at the Opera House. We'd love to get a word from performers like you. Oh, I see. So you're reporters. Seems like our school's recitals get more attention every year. So that's her, his approach this time. I'm afraid I've gotten quite used to it at this... <laughs> I've gotten used to this kind of thing. 
Fine by me. Ask whatever you'd like. Thanks. In that case, can you tell us about how the preparations are going for the recital? Yeah, everything's going smoothly. I'm sure this year's performance will also be great, so please look forward to it. Also, I swear, Judith should be getting swamped by fans. That's good to hear. Oh, that reminds me. Is it true this year the concert leads performers a Middle Eastern? You mean Nelly? Yeah, that's true. Do you know Nelly personally? Of course I do. We go to the same music school after all. That being said, it's not as if we're friends or anything. I see. Even so, do you think you can give your thoughts on Nelly? Is it alright to ask that? Of course. Sure, I don't mind. Honestly, I find Nelly to be rather irritating, to say the least. I get annoyed just by looking at her. As expected, this person seems to be the culprit? I don't know, Ferry. Wait, let's pry into this a bit more. Irritating, you say? From what you say, I get the feeling that Nelly must have a problematic personality. Do you think it's possible the recital could be perhaps better without her? You, what in the world are you saying? That's certainly not the case. Yeah? If she were to drop out of the recital, would you not get the lead role in her stead? Isn't that the best case scenario for you? Or are you just not interested in the starring role? Of course I'm interested, but that's not the issue here, is it? The results were based off the school's fair selection process. As much as it hurts to say, Nelly's a bit better than me right as of right now. If that girl were to drop out, this year's recital would be ruined. You say that, but you don't really like her, right? Yeah, that's true. She has such amazing talent, yet she's always concerned about her status as an immigrant, and such refuses to get out of her comfort zone. It's certainly true that other students and I didn't know how to treat her at first, but we've seen her talent and hard work. The entire school recognises that part of her. And in spite of that, she's always so timid and reserved. Ah, jeez, just thinking about it makes me mad. <laughs> As my rival, I expect her to be more confident. It's such a shame. Um, seems I was wrong. <laughs> so she's the type that's not honest with her feelings, uh. Guess this was a waste of time. Now, now, you don't have to put it that way. So, does everyone at your school, including those participating in the concert, respect her? Yeah, they all believe in her. With Nelly at the centre, this year's recital is sure to be magnificent. I see. Outside of those participating in the concert, does anyone else ha uh, does anyone else know about her having the lead role? Mm, I don't really understand the point of that question. It's not like they're keeping it a secret, so I think some people must know about it. However, we haven't made an official announcement yet. So perhaps the report's like you already know, but outside of that... Ah, now I think about it, I responded to a question like yours in a questionnaire a while back. Hmm? What kind of questionnaire? Well, just a while ago, I filled out a research questionnaire in the northern, in the market in the northern district. The theme has something to do with immigrants living in Arasian, if I recall correctly. The person collecting the questionnaire asked me specific details at the time. He seemed to have a favourable view of the immigration, so I spoke to him about Nelly and the concert. Other than that, nothing comes to mind. Mm, I see. That was helpful. Thanks. Alright. Okay. That was useful, but now we're out of leads. Let's just head back to the inn. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Have you guys made any progress? A bit, yeah. We'd like to talk about it. In our room. Bow, 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 bow. Amity said something like that? Yeah, so it's safe to say she's probably not the suspect. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yeah, it looks like I've misunderstood Amelie this whole time. So she really did think of me as a proper rival. Sorry, but you'll have to reflect on your friendship later. We still haven't solved the issue. That's right. If Amelie isn't the culprit, just who's behind this? It looks like we're back to square one. Hold it. She might not be the culprit, but it's no coincidence that we thought she was. Wait, do you mean... She was set up by the real culprit. Huh? What do you mean? If you drop out, Amelie would be the one to gain most from it. And on top of that, she's easily misunderstood and comes from the older Asian nobility. So it's natural to be suspicious of her. If we assume the culprit is anti-immigration, then their motive for targeting her becomes clear. Not just immigrants, but anyone who favours them could be potentially target of an attack. That's horrible. If it goes well for them, it could lead to infighting. A genius move on their part. Almost makes me want to vomit. If that's what the culprit's aiming for, then I wonder what their objective is. No matter what it is, that questionnaire sounded sketchy. But it wasn't the questionnaire pro-immigration? That's the other part that smells fishy. 
and the number of immigration supporters like Amelie are increasing by the day. Nevertheless, Arasian is like the home base of people that aren't fans of immigration. What do you think would happen if they did a survey like that here? They'd get targeted by people who are anti-immigration, probably? Yeah, which means they shouldn't even be able to do a pro immigration survey like that in the first place. Save for one exception. So the person doing the surveys is anti-immigration themselves? Probably. And someone who holds a lot of power and influence, it seems. So the real purpose of the questionnaire was to figure out who was in the pro-immigration group. What a dirty little trick. Exploiting people's kindness like that. <laughs> in that case, we need to pick out a plan of attack as well. I have a plan to piss that guy off more uh, and get him to retaliate. Alright. <laughs> just take a little break. My voice is a little... My throat's getting a little bit full on, so just take a little bit of a break from the voice acting. Okay. Who should be the decoy? Maybe fairy, why not? Oh. Oh, there was actually a wrong choice. Oh, my bad. I just wanted to pick whoever. <laughs> Makes sense. In any case, it's great that Amelie agreed to do this so easily. She got pretty riled up after we told her the details of the situation. Nah, she seemed like she had a forceful attitude, but I guess she also got a strong case of justice. Chicks like that ain't bad. Looks like everyone we need is here. The culprit might have already arrived. Let's take a look. <laughs> Amazing to think someone around my age has such a spectacular voice. You're both stunning. I'm so amazed. Excuse me, old lady, do you have a moment? Um, is something the matter? No, oh, no, I was just deeply impressed by the performance from earlier. And I wanted to talk with you, but since you seem to have been taken it since you seem to have been taken by it as well. Yeah, I was. They were so amazing. Oh, I'm glad we share the same opinion. By the way, it seems like one of them is a Middle Easterner. Hmm? Is there something wrong with that? She was quite amazing. Is something wrong? I apologize. My name is Jacob. I'm currently conducting research. Can you help me out? All right. Coexisting with immigrants, bro. Multiracial harmony, you say? If that's the case, then I'll happily oblige. The questions aren't too strange, but asking about my name, family, and address is a bit worrying. Regular questionnaires don't ask this much info. For the time being, I'll just make stuff up. <laughs> I'm done. Thanks for your cooperation, miss, if you would excuse me. Um, Mr. Jacob? What's wrong with young lady? I'm so glad we were able to talk about this today. Could you tell me your contact info? My contact info? I'm interested in the activities of the pro-immigration faction, so I thought I'd keep up in contact with another. <laughs> I'll be taking that. Who are you? Easy done. Easy there. Don't make too much of a fuss. Handing out research questionnaires in a public place requires a permit, you know. Do you have one? Uh, well, I... 
And this will take a while, so how about we move to a place without anyone around? Good work, Agnes. I wasn't sure if I was I could do it, but I'm glad it went well. You know this man? You bitch, you were planning to deceive me from the beginning. Slow your roll there, when you're doing the same thing. Jacobin. Jacobin. Lol. This, <laughs> this fucking sideburns got ripped off. Yeah. Sending a threatening letter, ain't it? Those are your crimes. We got your handwriting, bitch. <laughs> Dude, it's just it's just easy, bro. You just got schooled. A certain someone, all right. Hand him to hear you, eh? No, uh, we'll hand him to the guild. Dude, <laughs> just fucking look at it. Weird thing to do. Imagine spending your time just giving out surveys to try and fake people into fucking like hating immigrants. Like, bro, come off of it. <laughs> All right. I fucked up by choosing fairy man. I should have chosen Agnes. So well, whatever. Okay. I don't know whether I should be going to the guild right away. I feel like the guild should be the last place I go to. Oh, fuck it out. How did I miss this? I literally missed this. How did I not see these four gathered here? Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm just so happy to see you again. It's been years. And to think that hopeless Kitty turned into such a beautiful young woman. <laughs> Bro, seeing Red and Walter back together is actually kind of wholesome, the fuck? <laughs> but I have a motorcycle. At my age, that makes me pretty damn cool. <laughs> Besides, I don't look as sloppy as the old man over here, do I? Hmm. That's true. And even in spite of his age, I'd wear he's even more restless than McBurn. How old is McBurn, though? 
いい意味でも悪い意味でもだが<笑>それはありがとうあなたにそう言われると安心できるわ何せ結社随一の悪趣味、yeah. 戒めをどう破るかがモットーだものね Red has grown up so much man I love her <laughs> そのモットーの逆を行くのもそれはそれでおつなもんだがまあお前さんはそれでいいだろうせいぜいゆるーく付き合ってくとしようぜ今回みたいに限定的に手を組んだりたまには互いに殲滅し合ったりしてな依存はないわその時は全力でやらせてもらうけど<笑> You guys really are evil huh I just use brute force but you're both all cutting and shit I will look forward to your battle and I'll be supporting both sides This is pretty damn disturbing conversation to have in a random lounge in a department store. <laughs> it's actually so true. Oh, it's Van and the team. And <laughs> we just saw you yesterday. So you're going around the town for the morning. I've heard you two were the MVPs yesterday. By the way, we've got some f o r s p r i g g e n s set up for you. Yeah, we'll be dealing with those here and there. So, from listening in on the conversation a bit, I think we can assume you're making connections to your old squad, huh?、Uh, Aaron? Well, it's more like we're old acquaintances, so it's good to connect from time to time. I certainly think I've done a better job keeping my distance than you have with h e i y u e h a I get you.、Uh, not like I'm really blaming you or anything. Um, so, why are you all talking here? We just ran into each other while doing some shopping. Ren was buying some black tea, I was buying some bandages, l u c r e z i a was buying some perfume, and the old man here is buying the cigars. <laughs> well, I just happen, they just happen to have a fragrance from a perfumer I'm quite fond of. <laughs> and I was just about to run out of cigars, so it was good to find some here. Well then, should we all return to our bases? Alright, s e e y a Oh yeah, where is your base? For the record, I'm only act acting, asking so I know where to contact our client. Oh, we're in the hotel in the North District. Most likely we'll be at the bar in the basement. <laughs> well, then, until we meet again the game, during the game at noon today. See you later, Ouroboros. Oh, they were pretty relaxed this time, but they're just not normal. Yeah, we can't have guard down around them for sure, especially that Oathbreaker guy. His threat level in the Marduk database is classified as an uncertain SS rank. His career is shrouded in mystery, and it's unknown generally what kind of things he's involved in now. Well, the only things I've heard is that he's. That, that, ha, ha,、uh. The only things I've heard have been a bit disturbing, and that's not even counting the garden stuff. I definitely agree with that. If you do have to go against Walter or Letty, they would be a real threat, but. Honestly, you should even be more careful around Old Man Harwood. Of course, he's trained, and he's seen his fair share of battlefields. But while he may not be a supreme martial artist like Walter, and doesn't have any supernatural abilities like Letty does, don't forget that he is an Anguis, one of the highest ranking members of the society, accompanied by those two as enforcers. Of course, I've never actually seen just how far his true abilities go, so I'll stop there before I say anything careless. But he does have another name in the underworld, other than the Thousand Oathbreaker. Oh shit, really? I believe they also call him the Maven Lawbreaker, or something to that effect. Huh? The Maven Lawbreaker? Sounds kind of wild, but how in the world do you even end up with a nickname like that? Well, for example, all of the organizations he's dealt with have ended up self destructing in one way or another. Whether by unfortunate accident or by friendly fire in some case. Such as a company with underworld dealings, which ended up destroyed due to incredible debt accrued from a multitude of unbelievable mistakes. All of these things were dismissed by the authorities as accidental deaths or incidents as there was no further proof. But not a single person in the underworld believes that. And so that makes him the Maven Lawbreaker. If nothing else, it seems that one thing is no matter where the facts, that man is a danger. Right, he's frightening in his own way. Different from any Jaegers I've met. Hmm. Well, the guild seems to be in quite the bind right now, so I'd better get back there. The second phase starts soon. 
Starts at noon. All of you had better take care today. Right. Thank you very much, Red. Love you, Red. Bye. All right, let's go. All right. Brace guild. I probably could, I probably should have just gone straight to the basic guild, bracer guild even. Yes. Yes. I am gonna save just before this though. I think what I'll do is I'll probably get through the Bracer Guild stuff and continue on. See where like the day ends up, basically. But I'm probably gonna save soon, because I need to get dinner. I'm a little hungry boy. Huh. Oh, it's you guys. Oh, that was it, sorry. Oh, it's you guys. You got here fast. Something there sounded like it was up on the call. What's going on? Do you guys know where Elaine went? What? Yeah, I know it. Say that again. Oh, wait, is it going to be some shit like, because she was checking out where the money was coming from, right? So is it going to be her father or something? Oh, my God. Elaine? Uh, um, seriously? She left the girl early this morning, but bef before the incident with Hercules even happened. Based on your reaction, it seems you guys didn't know either. N no. We were all flustered all morning after getting the message. And that reminds me of when we found her in that abandoned subway line in the capital, though. She was in pretty rough shape. Seemed fine yesterday, but I wonder if something happened that pissed her off. D don't make fun of her like that. It's certainly true that an A rank succumbing to her emotions and running off on her own would seem a bit out of character. Well, she seems to have done it before, though. Got it. We'll keep a lookout for her, too. We probably won't be able to do as much once the game starts, though. That's pretty true. If she's not back by then, we'll have to go out without go on without her. Though it'd be a downgrade to our strength, for sure. Before you go, I, uh, I've got to apologise for all this. It's fine. Teaming up with you guys in the first place was gaming the system. I think you two are more than enough. Alvis, don't let this get in the way of your own work around the city. Understood. I'll leave it to you then. Alright. We're gonna go straight. Actually, I think, I think this is a good point to end, actually. I think this is a good point to end, right before the second level. It's been a good, uh, good two-hour stream. Um, but yes, thank you so much to everyone for tuning in, people in the chat who popped up, um, and if you're watching on YouTube as well, hello. I hope you've enjoyed the streams so far. Um, I stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday, pretty much consistently, and then weekends sporadically, depending on if I'm free or not. Um, but yes, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that fun stuff, and come follow me on Twitch as well, I'd really appreciate it. Um, as always, everybody, thank you so much for watching. This video will go out on YouTube as soon as I'm done uh, with the stream, I'll start uploading it. So yes, I will look forward to playing the next step where we will be going on to day two of the Arassian Royal Rumble, is what I'm going to call it. Um, but yes, I will see everybody on Thursday evening at 5pm, 5 5pm. 5 p.m., 5.30 p.m. UK time. Uh, but yes, I will see you all soon. Goodbye, everybody. Mwah.